to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today I talk about 10 horror movies that I highly recommend. And with that, let's get to the list. I'll be waiting. Long Legs is a 2024 crime horror thriller written and directed by Osgood Perkins. It stars Micah Monroe, Blair Underwood, and Nicolas Cage. In pursuit of a serial killer, an FBI agent uncovers a series of occult clues that she must solve to end his terrifying killing spree. <laughs> This has been one of the more polarizing horror movies this year because it kind of seems like either you loved it or you hated it. Because so many people I think had their expectations ruined by going into this expecting to see the scariest movie they had ever seen. Because unfortunately, that's what marketing does now. They tell people, it's the scariest thing, it's the most terrifying thing, it's the whatever, whatever hyperbole that's gonna blow things up. It really is basically clickbait when it comes to movies. So I wish more people would be aware of that and go into movies with their expectations not being through the roof because I think more people would have appreciated this and enjoyed this movie if they had have gone in without those crazy high expectations. But I personally love this movie. I've seen it like six times. It is such a unique film with so many layers. It's one of those horror movies that's very artistic and thought provoking. But that in of itself means it's not gonna be for everyone. I, this is not a movie that was made for the masses, but because of the viral marketing, which is such a weird thing because the viral marketing, the clickbait, so to speak, that I was just talking about is what got so many people to go and see this. So if they hadn't have done that, this movie wouldn't have gotten to those wide of an audience as it has. So it's one of those deals where it's great that it made a lot of money. It's great that a lot of people saw it, but it also is frustrating because a lot of people saw this that it wasn't made for. It's just not the kind of audience that this horror movie was made for. A lot of you have probably already seen my review of this, so you know I love this movie. So that's not why I'm talking about it this week. Mostly I brought it up because I want to let people know that if you've been on the fence about seeing this and wanted to wait for it to be streaming, it is streaming now, which is great. It, you can rent it, but it's 1999 at the time of recording this. And that's just crazy high. So I'm not suggesting or recommending at all that you spend that kind of money to see this. But the fact that it's now streaming, I'm sure that rental price will drop down to like five or six bucks here within the next few weeks. And then I believe in November is when it comes to HBO Max. But don't quote me on that because things like that always change. But just basically keep an eye out for it. Even if you don't want to rent it at this price right now, just look for it because in the near future, it will be much easier to rent. But this is gritty. It's uncomfortable. It's disturbing. It's very artistic, very layered and complex. And I promise you, even with one or two viewings, there are still more layers here that you can unpack. So it's not for everyone, but I personally love it and think it's definitely worth giving a shot. I know we've done a lot of crazy pranks on this channel, but this is definitely going to be the most insane prank we have ever done on this channel. What a surprise for you. Milk and Cereal is a 2024 found footage horror movie written and directed by Curry Barker. It stars Cooper Tomlinson, Curry Barker, and Adley Alvarado. A surprise birthday prank takes a turn for the worse when a popular social media duo must face the reality of the terrifying aftermath. Milk, my man, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. You're my best friend. Uh, I can't do what we do without you. You're my partner in crime. Eh, that sounded weird. Love you, bro. This has been probably the biggest surprise so far this year. This is really well done. And it's really interesting because 
it's kind of the future of what I think we're gonna see. Because this is literally a YouTube channel making their own horror movie and putting it on their channel. And that's just amazing, especially because it's a full length, well edited, well put together movie. It's awesome because they had different distributors that they were talking to and they thought about distributing it through other people, but they decided, you know what? The best format for our movie is to put it on YouTube. And it works so well in that format because it's a movie about YouTubers that do something. And so it's just this weird fourth wall breaking, really meta situation that is so cutting edge and so exciting, especially as someone who makes content for YouTube to see these creators do something like this. Now keep in mind, this is a found footage movie and it's bottom of the barrel, very, very low budget. It's literally just a couple guys and their friends that put this movie together. But the less you know, the better because it takes some twists that are really surprising. At least they very much surprise me and really impressed me at the level of storytelling and and characters and different things that happen in this. So not only is it a compelling, well done, found footage horror movie, but the idea in and of itself is cutting edge and exciting to see what these guys have pulled off. So I think you absolutely need to check this one out. My life is starting to feel like a horror movie. And you know how they end. Found is a 2012 horror movie written and directed by Scott Shermer. It stars Gavin Brown, Ethan Philbeck, and Phyllis Monroe. A bullied and misunderstood boy must grapple with the knowledge that his older brother is a serial killer. My brother keeps a human head in his closet. At one point, it had thoughts and feelings and it kissed somebody it loved. Now it's just a bloody head in a bowling ball bag. This movie is dark. It's gritty, it's grimy, it's uncomfortable. It is disturbing and shocking at times and absolutely goes for it. From the very beginning of this movie, it is uncomfortable to the very end. But it's one of those movies that'll really stick with you and linger long after you've seen it. There's actually a sequel of source to this called Headless, which I have heard is good as well, but I have yet to check that one out. Either way, I think this movie is incredible, but it's definitely not for everyone. But for the right audience, this is a great pick. Death Day is a 2017 black comedy slasher horror movie. Directed by Christopher Landon, it stars Jessica Roth, Israel Broussard, and Rachel Matthews. A college student must relive the day of her murder over and over again in a loop that will only end when she uncovers her killer's identity. Hey, you're up. This is such a fun movie and the sequel Happy Death Day to You is fantastic as well. They're both available right now on Peacock. So I recommend watching them as a one, two punch if you haven't seen them, but they're so fun. They're really that quintessential popcorn horror movie, but they're well-written with witty dialogue and great characters that you really grow to love throughout this movie but it is a lighthearted horror movie that's not gonna bog you down or stick with you after the fact. It's just entertaining. But if you have yet to see this, I think you'll be surprised on just how much fun it is. <laughs> a Quiet Place Day One is a post-apocalyptic horror movie. Written and directed by Michael Cernoski. It's the third installment of the A Quiet Place film series and stars Lupita Nyong'o, Joseph Quinn, and Alex Wolf. A woman finds herself trapped in New York City in the early stages of an invasion by alien creatures with ultra-sensitive hearing. Okay. 
So even though this is probably my least favorite of the franchise, I still think this is a damn good movie. The only thing that really held it back from just being amazing really is just the fact that we've already seen these aliens. We've already seen this stuff and it didn't bring anything exceptionally new to the table. And so I was wanting more answers on where these creatures come from and how they got here and all those kind of things. And I think a lot of people were. And so when this didn't give us that, it felt a little bit like a letdown. But after seeing this a second time and letting go of the things I was hoping it was and just watching it for what it is, it's a damn good movie. The heart in this, the story, the characters, are as good as any that we've seen yet in this franchise. Because the way it deals with death and the conversation, so to speak, that this movie has with its audience, I think are extremely thought provoking. Just the way that it explores death and how in a world like this, if you already knew you were dying, how would that frame things differently? And how would you look at the world through that lens? And so I think it's really worth seeing just for that by itself. But it's also incredibly well shot. The acting is off the charts good. Everything about it is well put together and well done. So if you haven't seen this, I think you definitely should check it out, especially now that it's streaming over on Paramount Plus. Children will never know how this ended. <laughs> The ABCs of Death is a 2012 anthology horror movie. It contains 26 shorts, one from each letter of the alphabet, each by different directors, including Adam Wingard, Ben Wheatley, Ty West, Simon Barrett, and more. If you're a fan like I am of anthology horror movies, this is one of the best out there and yet it really is kind of a hidden gem and has been forgotten in some ways because this really is directed by a lot of the who's who earlier in their careers and so to get to see these different little shorts, it's so fun to see especially because it's such a wide range of ideas for horror. Everything from gory to weird to sick and twisted. I mean, really funny, like you name it, it has it. I also think it's a great choice to watch for the Halloween season because it's such a wide array of different things you're gonna feel throughout it. It really is a fun watch. It's one of those movies that I think if you're a fan of horror, it's absolutely a must see. <laughs> The Cursed, or Eight for Silver, is a 2021 gothic horror movie. Written and directed by Sean Ellis, it stars Boyd Holbrook, Kelly Riley, and Roxanne Duran. In 19th century France, a man arrives at a country village to investigate an attack by a wild animal. However, he soon discovers a much deeper and sinister force that has the townspeople in its grip. The land's been cursed. This was one of my favorites from 2021. And ever since, I've talked about it on the channel numerous times for different lists because it is such an interesting movie that has really been overlooked. And it's a real shame because it was kind of labeled as a werewolf movie, but it's not exactly that. It's a period piece, but it's just unique. It's so interesting in so many different ways. It's well acted, well shot, well directed. It looks incredible. It's moody and atmospheric. I think it's a perfect movie for this time of year because of how much mood and atmosphere is in it. But I think it's surprising and interesting. And if you're a fan of horror, I think you're probably gonna enjoy it. The only thing that held this back from being an absolute classic in my opinion is the CGI. And even that, it's still well done. It's just, if it had practical, you could see the potential in it on what it could have been. But I think if you're a fan of creepy, atmospheric creature features, this is one you definitely need to see. It'll be the perfect marriage. You will never be separated, never. <laughs> The 
Raven is a 1935 horror movie. Directed by Louis Freelander, it stars Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. A brilliant surgeon with a morbid obsession for instruments of torture grows dangerously obsessed with a young socialite whose life he saved. The doctor is fascinated by death and pain and how much pain a man can endure. This is such a brilliant movie and people that are big fans of horror and the history of horror and especially the black and white classics are well aware of this. But unfortunately, it never gained the, the notoriety that a lot of these other classics from this era have. But this is as dark and disturbing and gritty and weird as anything that was done back in this era. And if you're a fan of Bell Lugosi and Boris Karloff like I am, just getting to see their performance together throughout this movie is so much fun. But it looks incredible, it's very eerie, and like I said, it gets surprisingly disturbing. But if you're looking for a black and white classic horror movie to help fill out your Halloween list this year, I think this is a phenomenal pick. Your next is a 2011 horror movie. Directed by Adam Wingard, it stars Sharni Vinson, Nicholas Tucci, and Barbara Crampton. The plot concerns an estranged family under attack by a group of masked assailants during a family reunion. What is that? This is such a badass movie. Sharni Vinson is as savage and kick ass as any final girl we've seen in recent memory. And it's a real shame that we haven't seen her in more horror movies. But I love the look, the style, the pacing of this. The whole cast is great. There are some really creative, phenomenal kills in it. It takes some interesting twists and turns and keeps you guessing on what exactly is going on all the way to the end. And the fact that Barbara Crampton considers this the movie that kind of reinvigorated her career, I think that in of itself makes this a special one. But it's exciting, it's violent and action packed and so much fun to watch. I think you absolutely should add this one to your list. Prince of Darkness is a 1987 supernatural horror movie. Written and directed by John Carpenter, it stars Donald Pleasance, Victor Wong, and Lisa Blount. The story follows a group of quantum mechanics students who are asked to assist a Catholic priest in investigating an ancient cylinder of liquid. Anyone in close proximity has the same dream. What is it? A secret that can no longer be kept. So of all of John Carpenter's movies, I think this is the most underrated. And it's really a shame because it's so imaginative and unique. Everything about this is just weird and different. And I think it's a little hard to follow. And that I think maybe is part of why I didn't have the same mainstream, you know, cult following that some of his other stuff has had. But it has a really cool look and style to it. The cast is phenomenal. I mean, it has Donald Pleasance in it, who is just fantastic, but it's so quirky and strange. I mean, even down to having Alice Cooper play this weird homeless man that gets more and more disturbing and creepy as the movie goes. So not only is it interesting and unique, it's a lot of fun, it really is. And it, like I said, it's a shame that more people haven't seen this. Because every time I hear people talk about John Carpenter and his best movies and their favorites and all of that, it's very, very rare that you hear anyone mention this. And I think it's high time that more people see this. I think it's a phenomenal pick, especially for this time of year. Like when you're putting together your Halloween horror list, I think it's a great addition. Either way, I think it's a fantastic pick for this Saturday night. So do yourself a favor this weekend, pick one of the movies off of this list, grab your popcorn and your candy, and enjoy! And I wanna give a huge, massive, 
enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew to you guys over on patreon and to the channel members over here you guys mean so 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 much to me and if you would like to help support this channel over on patreon there's a link down in the description or you can become a channel member by clicking on that join button down there and support the channel that way but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun and if you enjoyed this click right here to watch me talk about 10 horror movies to help you get into the halloween vibe and i'll see you guys next time